see that the apartment is kind of starting to look together will pretty much look like this. I thought that would be a nice little touch. Just the simplicity of adding little mirrors. These are from Ikea. It is already starting to look like this, I guess, where we have no income coming in, but now more than ever, it's something that you have to absolutely implement in your service accommodation business. What's good, Big Hustlers? You're tuning in to yet another vlog in the life of a property entrepreneur. You guys have been following me and I've been documenting the start to finish process of setting up this apartment for service accommodation. I just thought in light of everything that's going on in the world, I would actually give you guys a genuine documentation as well of what is going on and where we are with this particular property and setting it up. So if you come along, I'll firstly give you guys a quick tour. You'll see that around the apartment, it is already starting to look furnished. We're not finished yet. We were supposed to be approaching um, completion date. We've already obviously gone over that due to the issues, but um, I'll speak a little bit more about that in a moment. To give you a good look, actually, if you come into the living room, you'll see that the apartment is kind of starting to look together, but as I say, it's not yet fully complete. Um, if you come over this side, guys, so um, you, you, you get a better picture of what I'm talking about. But um, yeah, we've got some wall art gone up. We've got sofa beds in. We have obviously our dining room over that side. We have lights and light shades. Um, we still have a light um, that will be fixed to this here. Let me just see if the light is actually here. Oh yeah, so I have this light here. Um, I got it because I want it to be put, oh, let me see if I can climb. <laughs> but this light will pretty much look like this. I thought that would be a nice little touch for the dining room, making it really feel homely for our guests when <laughs> this is all over, when we do get guests. Um, if you come along, um, as of recent, obviously I haven't been here. Um, as you know, there's other businesses that I run and over the couple of days that has taken up a little bit more of my time, obviously trying to figure out how we can obviously survive during this situation. Coming up with a plan of action, I will be sharing with you some of the things that we've come up with and what we've been doing in regards to the service accommodation um, side of the business. But I'll talk a little bit more about that in a moment. So yeah, um, the kitchen painting has been done. All we did was get rid of the magnolia and uh, just painted the full walls in white to kind of just open up the space because it's not, it's a relatively small um, kitchen. But yeah, all the vents and everything all have been removed simply because we are getting those cleaned. We want it to look nice and polished. Um, before they were full of grease and they just looked brown. Um, so we're trying to get that sorted. I'm not actually sure where they are at the moment, but you'll see some of the, <laughs> the stuff are everywhere. We are in the midst of obviously uh, organizing everything in the kitchen. But um, I wanna just show you guys, if you come into the master bedroom, <laughs> what we've done so far, which you can kind of see, it's, it's progress. <laughs> Um, my little decorative mirrors we put up, which I will talk a little bit more when it's fully furnished and when it's complete, so I can kind of give you guys a better picture. <laughs> In all honesty, guys, I've had to kind of like change up the way I was going to show you the process of setting up this service accommodation. I didn't want to have to show you guys what the furnishing bit looked like um, until it was fully complete. But in light of what is happening right now, I just thought that it made more sense that I actually share with you guys where we are with this and how we're actually dealing with the current issues from an SA operator's perspective. So um, you can see that the wall arts have gone up. Um, it's kind of looking together, it's kind of looking good. With the ensuite, we are working on this as well. Um, and the guys will be just going over the tiles and everything like that, just to neaten it up and make it look as clean as possible. But come along. 
And this is the second bedroom and we've got an oldie. I don't know if you guys recognize this. If you haven't checked out those vlogs, obviously go ahead and check the vlogs from the start to finish so you can kind of see how this is all come about. I have gone ahead and stuck some mirrors on these wardrobes. I was thinking, should we throw out these wardrobes or should we keep them? Um, from a cost perspective, to be honest, it's a good thing we have kept them. Every single time we have basic wardrobes like this, I always think that um, just the simplicity of adding little mirrors, these are from Ikea, just sticking them on the wardrobe like this just gives it that little bit more of a non-basic look. <laughs> Comment down below if you agree with me. But um, yeah, this is obviously still got a little bit of work to be done. Doors have been fully painted. Obviously there's still a little bit of cleaning up to do, but for the most part, it has been sorted. Oops, sorry, I've just turned the lights off. So the guys have already started caulking the edges of the um, bathtub because that again was filled with a bit of mold. I wanted to take this opportunity to kind of share with you guys, if you are a rent to renters or service accommodation operators, um, just give you guys an insight into how we are handling the situation right now. And maybe you could do the same if you are struggling, because I know many service accommodation operators will be feeling it. <laughs> Following the situation, we proceeded to contact and communicate with all our landlords just to keep an open dialogue with our landlords. And I think that's very important. If you are a renter, renter, if you are operating service accommodation, you should be communicating with your landlord. We are living in unprecedented times. None of us know how to deal with this situation. And I suppose by maintaining a good open dialogue, you're all able, or at least that's what we've been able to do, is hear them out and they're able to hear us out. And we're able to kind of find middle ground and find ways to work together when we are contacting our landlords we are asking them either to uh, freeze our rent a lot of uh, mortgage lenders are obviously giving holidays a uh, three month holiday from their mortgages and so on and so forth due to that it kind of just gives us a little bit of obviously leniency to kind of ask them to consider um, also either freezing our rent or finding ways in which we can maybe pay what we can afford in the meantime these are some of the discussions we've had to have with our landlords in light of the situation another thing what I actually shared with you in a previous video the video on the costs associated with a rent to HMO property I'll insert a clip right now and just always have some reserve money on the side because even though you're guaranteeing uh, rent to the owner each month it does not mean that you will go without voids okay. part of setting up our rent to rent we absolutely make it a rule of thumb that we always have reserve money the reason why we've always done that is in situations where like this i guess where we have no income coming in so this had its own reserve money for example that we're currently actually utilizing to continue paying off the utilities and managing what we can in the meantime in spite of the fact that we are of course still in communication maintaining dialogue with our landlords to try and alleviate a little bit of stress of us but the same for them as well because at the end of the day they too have um, responsibilities another point I wanted to share with you guys is just generally my um, observations of the business of service accommodation going forward. There's a few things we have to take into consideration whenever we want to take on a service accommodation. Carrying out a SWOT analysis of your business, thinking thoroughly about your um, scaling plan. I think a lot of people who go into service accommodation, they don't necessarily think about diversifying with other strategies. If you are going to be an, a renter renter or if you are aspiring to be a service accommodation operator, just try and think of combining different strategies as opposed to just relying on one particular strategy. Following our SWOT analysis, what we've kind of established, and I think you guys could think about this as well, is changing our marketing slightly. Now, I know some people already do this maybe, but now more than ever it's something that you have to absolutely implement in your service accommodation business 
is direct bookings. Now, direct bookings from an aspect of actually building relationships with local businesses or other businesses, uh, going out there and connecting with travel agencies, recruitment agencies as well, getting contracts, long-term contracts with businesses as hotels do is something you're going to have to include in your service accommodation plan this time where we are all on lockdown in isolation you should be using it to establish which businesses you are going to be communicating to and honing in on building relationships with a lot of these businesses who potentially will bring forward guests that stay in your apartment longer, uh, return guests as well and essentially if you're building such a good relationship with them you will be their first contact when they need to accommodate a member of staff, when they need to accommodate an agency worker and so on and so forth and this is something we have experienced in one of our service accommodation and even till today we have that individual staying in that property. Overall guys I do hope you have found this video slash vlog somewhat helpful somewhat insightful i just deemed it appropriate that i show you how we are handling the situation in current times but in the meantime guys i do hope you've enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up leave your comments as well what are your thoughts on what is going on and how are you being affected as a service accommodation provider a renter renter i really would love to hear from you and just know what you're doing in current times to kind of handle the situation or manage the situation as best as possible in spite of what is going on guys continue being hustlers